everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hey, Emma. Um, what are you eating? Looks really good. Yeah, it is good. It's a yummy piece of cake, Auntie. Ooh, sounds delicious. So, what do you want to do today, Miss Emma? Well, I was thinking we could go get some ice cream later, or maybe some cookies. Whoa, Emma. Ice cream, cookies, and you're eating a cake? Yeah. What's your point, Auntie? Emma, that's a lot of sugar. That's why I'm so sweet, Auntie. <laughs> Very clever, Emma. Auntie, I just love eating cake and chocolate and sweet things. It's so yummy. I know, Emma, trust me, I know. But eating too much sugar can be really bad for us. But Auntie, how can something that tastes so delicious be so bad for us? I mean, is sugar really all that bad? Well, Emma, a little sugar every now and then is okay for us to enjoy. But if we eat a lot of sugar throughout the day or many times a week, it can start to be really bad for us. So to understand why, let's first ask the question, what is sugar and where does it come from? Sugar is deliciousness, Auntie. Oh, Emma. Well, sugar is a chemical that is taken from a plant, usually sugar cane or sugar beets. What we typically think of as sugar is called sucrose, which is what white table sugar is. But there are many other types of chemicals that are classified as sugars. Other chemicals are fructose, which is the sugar we find in fruit, lactose, the sugar from milk products, and glucose, which is what the human body uses as sugar. Sugars are chemicals, and when these chemicals stick together, they can form something called a carbohydrate. Can you say carbohydrate? Yes, carbohydrate. Good job, Emma. Okay, so carbohydrates are multiple sugar molecules linked together. Some examples of carbohydrates are bread, pasta, rice, crackers. Essentially, these foods are made up of many sugar molecules clumped together. And once you eat them, the body breaks them apart. And then these sugar molecules, which were once stuck together, are broken apart so we can use them for energy. Wait, Auntie. So you're saying bread and pasta and rice and crackers? Those are all sugars? Yes, exactly. Wow, Auntie, I had no idea. Okay, so once food gets to the digestive tract, it gets broken down. So the carbohydrates or other sugar molecules like sucrose or fructose get broken down even further into molecules that our body can use, which are glucose. Our body can only use sugar in the form of glucose, and glucose is actually very important. Glucose is what our body uses for energy. It helps us move and think and breathe and pump our heart and help our brain think. Well, I mean, it does everything. Without glucose, we would not be alive. Great, Auntie. I'm gonna finish this cake. Mm -hmm. All right, and then let's go get some ice cream because glucose is good, right? Hold on, not so fast, Miss Emma. We're just getting started. Okay, so yes, glucose and sugar are important for us to live, but our body only needs a certain amount of sugar for it to work. And if we go past that amount, it can lead to big problems. So imagine you are filling a bucket with sand and you keep filling it and filling it until you hit the top. So what happens if you keep going with the sand once you hit the top? Well, it overflows, Auntie. Exactly. So what happens if we eat so much sugar 
Our body can't take it or use it anymore. What if we reach the top of the bucket of sugar? Well, it would overflow, Auntie. Exactly. Okay, so as I told you, when you eat carbohydrates and sugars, the digestive tract, specifically the liver, breaks them down into individual sugar molecules and uses them for energy. So let's say you're eating cookies and candy and ice cream and bread and chips. As we're eating all these sugars, they're getting digested and going to the liver over and over and over again to be broken down. Eventually, the liver says, um, hey Emma, what's going on up there? All your organs already have enough sugar for the day. Hello, warning, overload, overload, I can't keep up. Suddenly, your liver gets stressed. What do I do with all this sugar? So Emma, where do you think it goes? What happens with sugar overload? Hmm, not sure, Auntie. Well, your liver starts storing it away for a rainy day as fat. And it will store this fat not just in your liver, but also in your stomach and your muscles and well, all over, leading to something we call obesity or being overweight. If this happens, the extra weight on your body can lead to other problems like pain in your joints or not being able to breathe as well when you run or when you're older, it can even start causing problems with other organs like the heart. So you see, Emma, it is really important to not overeat things with sugar because our body can only take so much. And something really scary that can happen is if you eat way too many sugary things for a long enough period of time, your liver and your pancreas, which is another organ that helps produce chemicals for us to digest foods, both together have to work so hard every day that they start to tire out and can lead to something called diabetes, which is when your body has a really hard time breaking down sugars all by itself. And then you have to take medication to do this instead. Wow, Auntie. I didn't know sugar can cause so many problems. Okay, well, Auntie, I now understand that sugar can be bad for me, but how come when I start eating sugary foods, I don't want to stop? It just tastes so good. Well, Emma, that's because as soon as you eat something sweet or yummy, it hits your tongue, which has a bunch of nerve endings that tells us if something is sweet. From there, nerves send a message to our reward system in our brain and it releases a chemical called dopamine, which is our reward chemical. Dopamine is released by our brain anytime something makes us feel really happy. So it can be when you're eating a delicious cookie or cake, but it can also be when you see your best friend or see a cute puppy. As soon as you feel that happy feeling, dopamine tells you, wow, that feels really great. So every time you eat something sweet that you love, like chocolate, Auntie, yes. So every time you eat chocolate, out comes dopamine. And every time dopamine is released, it makes us want to keep feeling that great feeling. So without realizing it, our body is searching for foods that make us want to release more dopamine and feel great. Oh man, Auntie, well, my dopamine is definitely going off with this delicious cake. So, Auntie, what should I do to help me not want sugar so much? Well, Emma, we start by adding healthier choices to our diet that also taste yummy and keep us full. If we eat healthier foods and always aren't starving or hungry, we stop thinking about all those sugary foods. And like I said, it's okay to have some carbohydrates and sugars. After all, our body actually needs them to function and grow strong. But we have to learn how to balance what we eat and not overwhelm our liver. Okay, Auntie, so I guess this one piece of cake for the day is probably enough. Good thinking, Emma. Okay, well, I guess I'm done with this cake for the day. And all right, liver, I'll give you a break for the day. Let's cut back on the sweets. Good thinking, Emma. Auntie, I think I have just the song to talk about our liver. Let's hear it, Emma. Okay, so let me put down this cake. 
Oh, 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 whoops, I forgot. I'm not supposed to eat any more cake. Emma. I know, I know. Okay. Let me put it down over here. Okay. All right. As I was saying, back to my liver song. Perfect, Miss Emma. All right. See you next time, everybody. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.